a little bit harder for me to recognize that I could do this. Bradley Amazon always knew he wanted to pursue a career in medicine, but there was one thing holding him back. It's an imposter syndrome, so you kind of tend to think that you're not adequate enough to do whatever it is, this thing that you want to do. Living on Long Island, I was working as a medical scribe. I worked with about 20 physicians, and none of them actually were physicians who looked like me. He was encouraged by those physicians to give it a shot. The 27-year-old first-generation American born to Haitian immigrants says he had nothing to lose. He took the medical college admissions test, which led him to SUNY Downstate, where he received an opportunity of a lifetime. Bradley was awarded the Associated Medical Schools of New York Diversity in Medicine Scholarship. It's so important to have doctors who are culturally the same uh, and can really speak to the um, individual who they're seeing. According to AMSNY, more than 30% of the state's population is black or Hispanic, with only 12% of physicians representing those demographics. Their goal? To diversify the workforce. How do I pay for rent? How do I pay for food? How do I support my family? And how do I pay for these expensive courses so I can show the admissions committee that I can do it? This takes time and it takes money. AMSNY provides $42,000 in scholarships to 30 students like Bradley each year. Here's how it works. In order to qualify, students are referred by the medical school they've applied to. If they successfully complete the one-year program, they automatically get admitted to that same medical school. Now, once a student is enrolled into the post -bac program, those courses that are taken won't necessarily carry over into med school. However, it still gives them a leg up and they don't have to reapply to medical school. But what they do do is make the courses easier right. when you are in medical school because you've just seen all of the um, all of the material. Since beginning its post-baccalaureate program in 1991, there are over 700 practicing physicians who've gone through. This year, they've expanded to include SUNY Downstate. In return, students agree to pay it forward, something Bradley says he's excited to do. Encouraged young students that they can do this if this is what they want to do, whether it be going into medicine, whether it be going into other STEM fields. In Flatbush, I'm Stacey Ann Gooden, PIX11 News.